gel journal and I got the idea from Shannon Green and Rosemary Morris and um, they had a workshop that I really wish I could have went to but I did not get an opportunity so I am a quick learner so all I did was I, uh, I looked at the video on YouTube and I done the best I could so this is the inside of it and I know I have some work to do on this section because this section is not done right what I used was a um, a box what kind of box did I have I think I had a this was a um, cookie some kind of cookie box or whatever so just use what you have at home this was a um, cereal not a cereal, but another kind of cookie box. I'm always buying cookies. So this was another cookie box that I'm going to also make this one into a prayer. This is going to be a prayer paint chip joke journey. So these are the paint chips that I use. Just regular paint chips like this. I had it in my previous video. This is the size I use. And um, I will link that video um, in the eye right now so this is the side this is one side that I did and I know this is not done right so next time I do it I'm gonna have to do it a different way because this one look look how many times it opens out or whatever almost like like it's supposed to be a fold a file folder but this was not a file folder this was a large piece of piece of paper that I used so you open it up and I could put different um, pockets here. I could just use this for a lot of different things. I um, tied this note pad here so that I can use it. I can put something else here. Put something else on this side. So, you can see how it's done differently, but I'm going to get it done the right way. So many things. You could even add some more papers on this side and you have a double um, workstation. I also can um, take my um, papers here and just make different pockets on this side I can make different pockets so I mean look it's just so much I could do with this I'm not done with it but it's so much I could do with this side to decorate the front and the back okay so just give you an idea of this side but you will see in her video it just opens like one flap and it has two flaps on each side but of course, Barbara always have to um, add her own little twist and make it big and fabulous, like Babs Fabs. Okay, the middle could be uh, leave it just like that, or you could add something in the middle. I would add like a little pen holder or pencil pouch or something that I could just put elastic on both sides and it holds all your markers and stuff like that. So this is the side here that has the paint chip. And you see how they they attach? They attach with this piece of fabric here. Just the strips of paper. And this, this is a pocket here. This is a paint chip. These are tags at the top. And you can see each one of them is attached by the piece of paper front and back. Beautiful. These I did not use with them. I have some that I did with the jelly print, but these are the ones that I covered with the napkins. And you can see how beautiful and how colorful it came out. So of course you you, you um, put two back to back, same napkin back to back, and I stitched. I don't know if you could see it, but I stitched around the edge of the paint chips with my sewing machine. And this one gave me the top opening to put tags or whatever in the top opening. So this is how it's done. So ladies, you have different size paint chips. You have um, different methods of decorating them. I mean, I saw some ladies use um, paper. They use paper. 
book pages and they decorate them with book pages, with magazines. You could do mixed media. However you want to decorate your paint chips samples, that's how you decorate your paint chip samples. So this is it. It was fun to make. And I am going to be making a couple of them. I might even put some of them in my Etsy shop. I'm not sure. But I'm telling you one thing. I had fun making them. And I'm going to make a lot more. Now this is my next project that I'm going to be working on. And here you see. I think these are. Let me see the measurements of my um, mailers. This is what? Ooh. 19 inches by like 12 and a half so this 19 and a half by 12 and a half these are large mailers that I picked up from a local a store close to me and you know what I'm going to be making art journals out of them after I do my mixed media on each one of them, front and back, I'm going to use, um, and I have a bunch of them, I have a lot of them, I have a bunch of them, so I'm going to use them, and I'm going to mix media of them, I'm going to do mixed media on them, and after I do mixed media on them, I'm going to add this white paper that I've also purchased from the same place, and I'm going to add them inside. But you're going to see how beautiful they are going to look. And after, this is what I'm going to add to this. Ladies, if you all get those bath and body work candles from White Barn, this is what you could do with them. I have so many of these. I'm just going to use them now for all of my infirmer, my bookends. I mean, just use them. So here's I have my um, grommets. I, I ordered the wrong size grommets. So I said, you know what? Instead of sending them back, I have to find out something to do with them. So I'm going to use these grommets. I'm going to use my grommets to... These are the other ends that you use. And I'm going to add the grommets to this book. So you are going to see how this art journal is going to come out. And I am going to be making a lot of them. But you know what? I'm not going to make them alone. I'm going to share with you. So that's my next project. Art journal, junk journal. Bye for now. I hope you are inspired. God bless you.